Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? i7 and RTX graphics. So the customer is saying with this uh, laptop, uh, the laptop does not power on on any circumstances. When you plug in the power lead, sometimes the orange light indicator comes on. That means the motherboard is now shorted. But as soon as you try to power the laptop on, it goes off. If you keep tapping the power button, sometimes the blue power light comes on. The laptop is about to power on, but immediately all lights goes out again and nothing happened. You know, this is a this is like a fault, like a chipset fault. And I asked the customer, you know what? It's a, if it's a AMD CPU, I can't fix it. But if it's a Intel, yes, yeah, send it. And the customer said, uh, yeah, it is a Intel CPU. And I said, yeah, I can have a look. So nothing happened. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Okay, so we have 19 volts on the screen. Let's see how much current do we have. Yeah, four amps, that's fine. So plug in the power and it's taking, yeah, it's taking, it's charging. But you know what, it's charging, but not charging light. Huh? Pressing the power button. We do have the charging light, check that. Wait. When I'm pressing the power, the charging light, check here. Huh? Did you ever see something like that? Holding the power button down, nothing happened. Yeah, it's coming on, check here, it's on. But no, no, no current change there. I don't remember to see this kind of fault, pressing the power button, and actually the charging light is coming on. For me, this looks like a messed up BIOS. Huh? Strange fault. Okay, let's have a look inside of the laptop. Let's... Uh, wait, they, they, here are no screws. Nothing. Okay, let's open the laptop. Well, interesting fault. Interesting fault. Yeah, looks like a messed up uh, BIOS. Just because we don't have to power on the laptop, yeah? So the first uh, thing is you plug the charger and the AC chip is charging the battery and the, EC, the LED, the charging LED is connected to the AC chip. So you can see something is wrong from, uh, from the beginning, before you are, power, you are pressing the power button, yeah? Good. Now let's try... Let me disconnect the battery. Let me disconnect the BIOS battery. Yeah, perfect. Shorting the BIOS battery. Good. Now let's check the resistance of the coil, because if we have a shorted motherboard, then we are wasting the time. Okay, so let's see the chipset, yeah? I'm more interested about the chipset. Uh, one ohm. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's not only AMD, but also Intel. Why do we have one ohm there? Because you have a shorter chipset? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's check together. You know, it's pretty sad. This is a RTX graphics uh, laptop, you know? This is a new one. It's not like an old uh, uh, laptop. So, lowering the voltage to like. Yeah, 0 0.9 volts. And coming with the current exactly here where it's supposed to be 3.3 for the chipset, but I'm coming only with 0 0.9 volts. Yeah, we have no ground. We need a solid ground here. 
Yeah, so it's taking four amps. And check that the chipset. You can see it. Yeah, the chipset is gone, shorted. Yeah, and it's nothing what we can do. I mean, yeah, we can replace the chipset. Yeah, we can. But to get a good chipset, that's hard. Well, this was a quick repair. <laughs> quick repair, quick diagnostic. So uh, you see in the fold, yeah? Pressing the power button and the charging light is coming on. Now, how the chipset died? That's a good question because uh, this laptop looks like new. So I'm assuming the only way for this chipset to die is to get hot and the chipset has no heatsink. I mean, I know, I know the people think, yeah, okay, I'm buying a laptop with an NVIDIA GPU and my laptop is working on NVIDIA GPU. But the truth is, 99.9% .9 of the time, your laptop picture is outputting, it's outputted by, by, the, by the chipset. So your chipset is uh, doing the hard job. And yeah, when you are gaming and this is going to 100%, it will switch, yeah, because this is switching graphics. Uh, it will switch to the NVIDIA GPU. Yeah, that sucks. Hello, so we are back and this time we have a crazy job. So check here, so <laughs> the laptop came like that. Caution screen is only fixed with tape for access. Open carefully. Let's open this carefully. Screen is burned now. New screen is on the box. Indeed, I do have a brand new screen here. Yeah, so the new screen is here. Okay. When the original fold happens, screen stop working during replace. Uh, during replace tested on AC power, only with new screen. Smell of burning and now it will not turn on. Thank you, Ty. Well, this is bad. I mean, when you replace the screen and you need tested, you smoke out and things like that, uh, bad things can happen. Bad things can happen. Now, you know, the only reason why I took this job, yeah, the only, because usually I'll say no, that's a dead chipset and I'll not take the job. The only reason why I take the job is because the customer, yeah, check here, the customer said, the, the laptop displayed video on an external screen. Wait one second, now, now I realize. So the custom, so they said that the laptop was displaying video before the laptop smoked. Ah, uh, okay, that sucks. You know what? I thought, I thought, no, it's my fault. I, I usually I will not take a job like this. I thought, you know what? The laptop, uh, okay, smoked. It's no picture, but it is picture on the HDMI. That's the only reason why I took this job. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, most likely a dead, dead chipset. Why do you think it's not coming on? Yeah, that's a dead chipset. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's open the laptop. Yeah, the laptop has screws. Uh, it's my mistake. It's my mistake. I can't believe. I didn't read carefully what, what, what they said. I thought, you know what, the laptop, okay, smoked. The screen is not working, but the laptop is still working on HDMI, but it's not, from what I can see now. <sighs> okay, this is another video for my uh, fail collection. Most likely, you know. Most likely, you know, what can smoke there? 19? Nah. Probably the 19 smoked with the with the with the tracks from the from the chipset. Yeah. And that's the reason why the laptop is not coming on. It's not because the main power is shorted. No. But we can check that. 
We can check that. You have a Zeroms chipset, right? Yeah, must be, must be. And what I will do? You know what I will do? I'll tell you straight away. I will go straight on that coil and I'll check the resistance with ground. That's what I will do before I will check anything. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Yeah. Ground chipset. <laughs> Two ohms. I actually, actually, yeah, my multimeter has 1.5 ohms. Yeah, 2.2 ohms, and my multimeter has 1.4. Okay. You see, it's not even point wasting time with uh, with this. Can it be 100% sure? Yeah, we can. Oh, of course we can. Let me power up the, the thermal camera. We have 0 0.9. I just finished I, I just finished another Acer laptop, same with the RTX. So we can have a look together. 0 0.9 coming on this coil. Yeah, right? Yeah. Ground. Come on, ground. Come on. Yeah, it's taking one amp. And check that, check that, check that. Check that the chipset is hot in one corner. You can see it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a night picture and I'll send it to the customer. Yeah, that sucks. Always it will happen. Always, you know, it will, uh, the chipset will go dead. Because of what, why? Because the, the battery was not disconnected when the screen was replaced. Or because the screen is not the same. Yeah, has to be exactly the same based on the model number from the back of the screen. Well, that was a short job. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. You know what? I didn't see this model before. Check here. So you have a you have <laughs> you have a ribbon cable to this board, and from this board you have another ribbon cable. Making no sense. This is the keyboard connector, yeah? So the keyboard is going on this board, and from this board is going there. No, it doesn't have another cable. That's the only cable. The touchpad is here connected. You can see it? It's here. <laughs> Brilliant design. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the the series with fails. It fails to repair, but it's because I can't. I, I can't replace the chips. I can't. This is, this is so easy. I made a video replacing this kind of chipset. You remember? A customer sent me the motherboard and the chipset and I replaced it. But I cannot gamble with chipsets. Yeah? If the customer wants to gamble, yeah. What I'm charging for a chipset replacement? 60 pound. But 60 pound, even if it's working, even if it doesn't work. Yeah? I'm just charging the money for the job itself. Yeah? I'm not charging for the fix. And this is a RTS graphics, an expensive laptop. But yeah, I cannot gamble with chipsets. That's up to the customer, which is a computer shop, I believe. Anyway, see you on the next one. Bye.